Welcome to CRF Global. My name is Ryan Fergus and I'm going to show you how to use the communication DLL uh, for use with the ProLogix devices. So the ProLogix uh, device has um, a number of parameters in order to make it a usable GPIB. We actually support it in our softwares, um, hence why we created the, the communication DLL. Um, it just makes it much easier to um, talk to those instruments. It's not limited to just the GPIB. So if you are using the, uh, the visa layer for Agilent or um, National Instruments, then we also will we will use the visa layers, in which case it will expose those devices also um, to the developer or the user. Um, so in this case, as you can see, I went through the uh, apps and opened up the C sharp example. Um, now what we have to do is look at the references. The reference is to communications DLL, which is located in CRF Global uh, Communicator. And the version I'm currently using today is 2.2.187. Um, and we are using CRF WP0201 communications. We do access the communication via saying communication.ci get default RM. Anybody who's familiar with um, the visa layer, they should know these functions as VI get default RM. Um, we chose not to call it VI because clearly it's not a visa 32 layer, it's also not called visa 32. Um, what we've done is we've specifically chosen functions that we needed in order to um, get our instruments up and talking. So there's a very few number of um, elements that have been exposed. So we've got the close, find next, um, find resource, um, get attribute, get default RM, locking a device, open, could be open the session or the device um, open the default RM so these are all function VI functions from the Visa 32 we just decided to keep within the same um, construct with what was in there except to stop any confusion we called it CI then we have CI read CI read STB so that's read the status byte set the attribute and CI terminate unlock write and some debug settings which um, you don't really have access to to setting up. So um, the example uh, that we've provided is just a basic um, introduction to using it. It's not coded nicely, it's, it's purely just as an example of how the system um, can work. So what I will do is I will run it and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's displayed GPIB 6, which is the main interface, and as we can see, and then 21 and 15, which are there. Now I know that GPIB 21, or uh, the device at 21, is actually the Agilent MXE, so we'll go ahead and we'll communicate with that one. Six. Accessing. Okay, so it's asking us uh, enter the timeout for the device. So we'll just say two seconds. Probably isn't two seconds, but we'll say that anyway. Okay, so it's connected up. It's done what it needs to do. Um, a lot of the information that you see being printed in this console is actually debug data that we print. Um, and of course, all of our applications don't work on consoles, so um, you don't normally see this. This is purely stuff that we use for debugging. Um, okay, so let's do a query and see what it comes back with. Yeah, okay, so in this case, um, we did a star ID and question mark received data of Agilent Technologies E4440A, which is an MXE. Okay, so um, I don't think there's any other functions on that because we haven't expanded on that. Better off using the communicator tool itself to just 
double tap. Yeah, so it's still connected onto it. So cancel that down. Okay, there we go. That is uh, that is the communications DLL. Um, so play away. If you have any problems with it or you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at crf global dot com. If you'd like us to develop any applications for you, contact us at that same address and uh, tell us what your requirements are, and we'll get back to you um, as soon as we can. Thank you very much.